Hello everyone, welcome to the session. Uh, today I will be showing you the portrait which we sketched earlier and here this is the basic outline which we did in the other portrait in the sketch in the previous class. So here I will be showing you how to use the watercolors and if you are joining for the first time please press the subscribe button and stay connected with us. Let's start quickly. I am using a normal watercolor round brush and the normal water paints. So when we use any uh, watercolor, then we have to keep few things in mind that the colors which you use, you have to use water and use the proportion of water as more and try not to use too much of the color. So I will be starting from eyes of this. So let's start here I am using yellow and I will be using brown and I am used red little bit red little bit uh, ochre and orange if you don't have ochre you can mix a little bit brown even red with chrome yellow and start so first I am filling the color in the eye and then I will come to the eye later on so this is a light shade which I will apply in the eyes and then the same thing we will follow in in the whole drawing Now you will see that the color is looking light and the same color will be used in the skin also with slightly more of the yellow that is the first tone of the painting. Now use a bigger brush and spread this let it dry. just see the light color tone which I am applying you don't have to apply too much of the shade now the face is having a uh, there is a hair is not hair is less so I am using more of the water for showing the light tone this is this will help me in doing this sketch or in the portrait fast. Now this is the area where I want to show shine. So wash and then let it dry. In the meantime when the color dries I will go on to the other area wherever I want to use the color. Now keep, uh, you can mix the whole color together or you can do it side by side. It is entirely up to you. The areas which are dark will be this area. This is the uh, eyebrow which will be dark. So I am filling it with the same color. Now inner areas of the face, the, this area will be dark and the outer area of the face is heavy. So this area, first tone we have to apply. I apply the color and then I am cleaning the brush 
and just mix the color so this makes the tone light now you are watching it step by step so you can try it out and leave a comment if you have any problem or any query now this is the lower area of the eye in which there is a swollen part depending upon the age of a person in this the light is falling from the other side light is coming from the other side therefore this area will have darker area lesser and so i am spreading the color and just the darker areas which will be made dark and highlighted i am doing them first wherever you want a dark a light shade there you use water and just spread the color this is useful when you have to make a drawing faster or a portrait you have to make fast three tones will come now in the hidden area i am just using water and spreading the color so this makes now this is indian face therefore you have to keep the tone and the texture of the skin in mind now there is yellow also and there is yellow ochre brown orange mixed together and i have made one shade and i am applying the shade in the darker areas now this area is light so i will just wash it and just give it an effect of a shine on the face this is a fast way of doing a face this is the lower area of the face in which also the same thing will be done but since this is the lower portion of the face it will be slightly darker so keep the first tone because i am applying the first tone keep it light so that later on you can do it you want the initial process how it was started you type below this video for the link of that how the portrait sketch was started now visit all the sections of the channel and you will come to know that there are a lot of portraits made so you try out the method shown in the video and send those i uh, send your work directly on the mail given below this this is the first
just tone applying so i am keeping it light uh, this will be the hair so first layer i am applying the hair will be darker so it does not matter i am using first base color this will be made dark now we will come to the area this area has dried slightly let's come to the detail of the face so for detailing of the face use a smaller brush use the same color and use a little bit of brown you are doing the darker area of the eye this has dried so uh, i will do it quickly so from the outer area just make it dark and keep one portion light which is showing the shine on the eye this is the first initial color of light after that you can give it further uh, in the second round when you, it has dried then you can give more detail to the eyes now observe the tone Let's balance out and now quickly do the eye. The outer area of the skin is, as I told you, is an Indian skin. Therefore, it will be brown and brownish in shade. And the same will go in. Let's wait for this to dry. Light the first layer. And just keep it light. The first layer when you apply, if it is light, you can make it dark anytime. So don't make the first coat dark because the dark coat is difficult to be turned into light. This is the first tone light. When we will come to detail of this, now detailing means from the upper end. This area will be dark. And from the lower side, it will be done. So let's spend some time on the eye. So when you do it, this side of the eye I will keep light. This side I am keeping it. lining which is the eyelid fold I will keep it dark and just slick it so just see and same thing on this side 
here because this eye is away from light so this corner of the eye will be dark The eyelids have a fold. The gentleman is a singer. While doing it, you can guess and type below this. After some time, you will definitely come to know. But if you can guess now at this moment. From this portion, the eyes are swollen. This area is swollen and it is swollen like this. This is characteristic in different people's face. So keep that thing in mind. Just spread it. This area will be made darker. Let's wait for few minutes so that the color does not mix. And this is the area of the hair on the eye eyebrows. And this will come slightly down. This is the part which has to be done carefully. This will give the eye area the resemblance of the face. Now watercolors are transparent and they are important. They are important in the way that uh, if you have a sense of mixing the colors Then you can use uh, other medium, you can use acrylic colors very easily. If you have problem in watercolors, then somewhere in other medium, whether it is uh, acrylic color, oil or even digital colors, uh, there is difficulty to people who have not understood the medium. Now keep this area light and dark like this. Now let's give some detail to the eyes. Now add a little bit black. Use orange. And now focus on this part of the eye. It is not fully black. Nothing much has been done but the eyes have got some life. Now same thing comes here. This portion of the eye is dark. And this area, this is a dark area which is the iris of the eye. This is the 
the colored portion of the eye. just to highlight this and just spread this now same thing will be done here but this will have lesser because there is a shine of light on the eye Now just do the inner pore. The eyes have got this area of the eye is dark and the eye length and the depth is still here. Now I have to make this area darker. This much has been done. Let's move on to other area. And basically, do it now. Now, the left side, or the left of your left, will be made dark. smile so this area of the cheek has to be done with depth and use watercolor uh, brush and just wash the color now I am using clean brush and just spreading this color area also there is because this area is away from light so we have to do it even darker but less compared to the left side now the lips are to be done but they are Now since this you can take as much time in doing any portrait but I want to show it uh, uh, live therefore I am doing it fast. And uh, you can follow the same technique to do a painting faster. Now keep the lower area of the lip dark. First do the darker area on the lower side 
then the upper area will be made slightly thinner There is a smile and we want to show the teeth so we don't make outline of the teeth uh, the, we don't draw otherwise they will look artificial so we just have to do the lower area dark the lower portion of the teeth you have to make dark and when you do it then the teeth automatically become highlighted Now the shine on the teeth on the lip. So below this video you will get to know how do you sketch the lips. Here you can see how to paint the lips. In other portraits explained, you can see different uh, portraits within which there is sketching of lips. done so the in fact the teeth will not be done I will hold it closer to your to you from the upper area use yellow yellow ochre towards the left side and just make the gums What I am doing is I am not making outline of the teeth, rather I am making the gums. Uh, you can observe it that what is being done. And at areas dark and in some area you will keep it light. Towards the corner of the lips and the smile you have to make it dark. So use uh, orange, brown and black also and shade this area of the teeth. And from the lower side where the lips are ending there you have to give so in this area the teeth will not be made of the same just mix the color so that this area looks darker and the center area looks brighter and in this area there will be less effect because this is towards the light this is how has to be shown now adding some detail to the lips once you have done it then observe your drawing you will be able to judge that it is having some wherever you are making that the resemblance is there how much percentage you will not get full resemblance of the face
space because I believe that the person whom you are making was 100% you can't copy him even if you have you have resemblance up to 80-90% or 95% now this is done now let's move on to the hair so that the face has got some depth the hair have to be done with brown and dark brown I'm leaving purposely some areas in between light to give the effect of the background should also be there. Uh, the face is the face. is not having uh, hair on the front so now I have applied the color now this is the edge of the hair so for you I am showing this hair edge now just use the same brush Without much of toning and all, I have just used the texture of the brush and the texture of the paper for getting the detail. Now once this is done, add little bit same shade and make it darker now. Uh, 
cave is coming out uh, next to the uh, outer area. Adding highlights now, let's do it fast. Now this is away from light, so this area will have more of the darkness. So there is the darkness. I have kept the base which I had applied. You might have seen that the color use is less. the folds on the face because there is and uh, the face is resting on the hand on the hand so there will be fold of the skin now let's do the, the middle portion of the face we will come to it shirt so it is going nicely now this will highlight the face and now I am just putting water in between and in the second coat I can make it Almost completed thirty five minutes. You can try and send that how much time you took to do it. Now the shirt is white, the tie is also there.
you are observing there is this area is the area is left so this will be the shirt and this area is the blazer or the coat this is the it will automatically get selected so since the shirt is light it is having a shade of yellow add a little bit of orange Show this light, keep this area light and outer side the lower portion of the shirt keep it slightly different. So I will use a little bit of yellow and orange and then this. So what happens? I will not take time on making this I want to not make this session longer so comment on that what did you like and what do you want more in this if you want a particular different one you have different channels on watercolors especially where you make will understand the concept of making landscapes but I believe that if you are able to understand the uh, portrait making then the other art forms become easier the fingers I am doing There is a little bit of port on this side. Um, just tap it. Now you can give detail, but now let's come and finish the eyes. Just put it light and just let it use less color. Now this 
is having the eyebrows are having depth and uh, there is this area is swollen I will just complete it fast. How did you like? What else you want? And any suggestions you have? If you want a particular portrait to be shown, please type below this video. Do give a like to this video and uh, subscribe the channel if you have still not subscribed. And share this with people who are want to learn. Now I'm just making this eyes. This portion is away from light, so it will be dark. complete finishing you can see in the thumbnail of this 